Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. All right, we're going to take a look at the rest of July for you for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please be mindful of some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take a fit, save the rest. And just so you guys know, in August, maybe sooner, I'm going to start a collective love reading daily. So you will have a message to refer to daily, a love message, including all the charms and all the extra cards and all that good stuff. All right, you guys? So be prepared. So I'm just finishing out July with all the signs, zodiac signs, and then we're going to move right over to the collective love messages. Also at the end, I'm going to implement um, if you're dealing with a particular sign, so you'll get everything. All right, you guys, let's take a look. Pisces. What does Pisces need to know for love for July 2022? Love for July for 2022. Okay, you've got lightning. Wow, sudden change. Shocking news, a surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Okay, there's a change coming in here at the end of July. What the heck is this? Okay, this is shocking. Somebody's having an epiphany. Wow, keys on a ring. Many options, a decision, uh, a string along, a one night stand. Okay, let's see. and the chaser okay hmm well lovely looks like somebody you're you're coming to realize that maybe somebody was stringing you along okay that's lovely let's see um or they had other options okay that lightning is like a tower moment okay chaser in a codependent relationship fear of abandonment and an issue maybe yeah some of you I feel like at the end of this month, you're like, okay, what the heck is the deal with this person? What is this person's problem? Well, they have a fear of abandonment, okay? Um, they don't like being alone at all, um, and but they can't commit. So they come in because they don't want to be alone. They have a fear of abandonment, and they connect with you and, you know, try to have something here with you. Um and they chase after you and then um, once things start getting close then they pull away and then you just figure okay I guess this is done and then they're chasing after you again I think there's like a wake-up call you know a realization like epiphany oh this person um, has been stringing along okay <laughs> stringing because of their own fears not because of love they operate out of fear not love okay and so this person there's like this chaser energy that keeps happening or will keep happening with this person until you wake up and see what's going on here that this person the answer to why does this person keep coming back if they don't want to commit it's because they have a fear of abandonment but when it gets time to commit then they leave there's codependency it's a codependency okay so it's very manipulative all right, let's see what your messages are here. Okay. So past position, Queen of Cups, you may have had connection with a water sign, male or female energy. Um, the past, very supportive, loving, nurturing, that kind of thing. At least that's how somebody came across. Maybe that was you, Pisces. It is, okay, because that's a water sign. Um, or you could have been connecting with a water sign, but there's you in the past, nurturing, caring, loving, giving your all, being accepting, you know, allowing somebody to keep coming back, being understanding, you know, the, the queen of cups in the upright is not codependent or not smothering or clinging, um, only in the reverse, but you're in the upright here in the past. So I feel like you were in your element and you were being you and that was wonderful. What's the message here for the present? Okay. King of Wands. All right, maybe you were connecting with an air, a uh, fire sign. I almost said air. Uh, let's see, what's the deal with this King of Wands? Hmm. Hmm. All right, King of Wands currently saying to you, or struggling to tell you, <coughs> should be telling you that they're leaving and that they're going somewhere. But because it sits in the position of a challenge, really hard for them to just say to you, this person cannot say to you, I don't want to see you anymore. Or, I don't want to be with you. Because then if they do, then they lose you altogether. So instead, they just kind of leave. <laughs> or they just say that they're busy or they got something else going on. Um, 
because they don't want to leave they keep coming back to chase after you they don't want to leave altogether um, but rather than just be someone that says you know what I'm sorry this this I, I don't want a committed relationship or this isn't something that I'm willing to I'm not motivated or capable or willing whatever um, they don't say that they just go and then they come back later okay so what's driving this reading right now huh all right the Emperor okay this is boss mode this is bossing up this is where you are right now here um, I kind of feel like it, what's driving you right now, Pisces, is you're like, you know, I'm looking for something that's going to be above board, open and honest and confident, knows what they want, know where they stand, that kind of thing. That's what that's where you're at right now. You're not trying to do this string along one night stand stuff with this person. You're tired of somebody coming in and out of your life. And I feel like you're having like a shocking, you know, like a little bit of an epiphany here and a transformation are maybe going to transform this situation. Um, okay, crowning the Queen of Pentacles. So you getting into that Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, it's interesting. There's no earth sign that has a cusp of a water sign. Okay, no earth sign that has a cusp of a water sign. So for you... This is like a complete opposite of who you are. For you to go from water to earth. Water is very fluid. Water is nourishing. Water is comforting. Um, water gives a sense of replenishment, you know, and that's how you are with people. But the Queen of Pentacles... Queen of Pentacles is not fluid, watery like that. Queen of Pentacles is more in touch with their senses, very grounded, realistic, um, can see through things. They're like solid as a rock and very, very stable. Water is water is always in motion. Water, um, water can be stagnant, but then it gets it's not meant to be stagnant you know even even lakes have outlets okay um the queen of pentacles comes across she's she's like the earth the queen of, he or she is like the earth it's like rock that's the foundation for water okay water has to have something to flow from and uh, some type of mineral um and i feel like for you your mindset is Okay, you've done all the nourishing, you've done all the loving, you've done all the supporting and all the caring. Now your mindset is you're getting into the Queen of Pentacles. Very grounded, analyzing your situation, really taking a cold hard look at things, not from an intuitive, but with the facts, okay? With the facts. And, and is, this is really getting honest with yourself, being real. Pentacles are tangible things. These are things that we can touch. These are facts. These are things that are real. So you're getting, um, coming out of a, a dreamy place and getting real with yourself about who you are and what you want. Okay. Let's see what's coming for you in the future. Ooh, yeah, look at you. Eight of Pentacles here. Okay, really putting in some effort. Let's see. I feel like if you're gonna, if you, you know, if you're not familiar with the pentacle, the earth signs, brush up a little bit on that earth sign because we have all the elements within us. But I feel like you need to activate the earth sign within yourself because that's what's going to bring you success. Because I feel, let me see, in the past, I mean, you definitely were very stable in the past, okay? You you were. But I feel like this person was taking advantage of your feelings or your emotions. Yeah, because it's causing a lot of stress in the past, okay? Maybe you're having nightmares or affecting you very emotionally. I feel like, you know, your career, your job, your, your status, all that stuff, you were good. But your emotions, it's like you just kept giving and giving. And I feel like maybe you're just kind of putting your emotions on the back burner going forward here with somebody and not getting um, emotionally triggered by someone what's your advice okay 
there's the tower the same as it started with the lightning card this tower your advice here is to break this destroy this thing break this thing down not the person don't destroy the person but uh, cause a like a massive change you need to make change here for yourself okay yeah the empress okay this is what i was saying we embody all of the elements right um and that's what the, the empress does the empress embodies every element right and she is very powerful when she is able look at the lightning strike coming down which is right here she's able to create um transformation and transform herself going from the two queens into the empress the empress embodies all of the queens all right um and the empress goes with the emperor and that's what you want someone to match your energy but you have to get into that energy because we are we attract what we are and whoever you were connecting with here yeah not good not healthy let me see let's take a look at what's external to you okay yeah you've got somebody external to you who just can't commit can't make a decision and they have too many options um closed off look at that arms crossed um insecure self-adapting cold has a coldness about them look how he's like holding his body this is self-hugging this person has like a lot of insecurities um yeah they reach out to you here they are reaching out to you oh I, this is a card of like promise oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that um, but let me just see I got to figure things out there's a lot of like no movement forward this is kind of like this person that's external to you uh, maybe this is that person is just kind of like oh, oh couldn't is juggling just juggling or couldn't just really like let the balls the chips fall where they may and then move forward with that, that that's what I feel like this energy is with this person they just they can't make a decision just can't make it they try to make a decision or they got to narrow things down yeah i don't know it feels like it's time to you know cut the cord here on somebody okay your wishes oh like you want to give a little sass i feel like you you would like so there are some pisces who do have that sassiness about them um but i feel like some of you also want to tell somebody another uh female give some truth you like you wish you could i don't know what that message is you you wish you could give some truth to another female about somebody but you can't you you want you hope that you could do that but it doesn't feel like like you fear maybe saying anything to somebody else hmm, pisces but also like either way like i feel like you want to tell some truth you want to get something out there be crystal clear and say something but for some reason hmm king cups wow maybe you want to tell somebody's friend or there's a there's a male here you want to tell a male about something okay are you or, you know you want to tell somebody else let me see oh somebody okay okay either you want to okay <laughs> this is crazy this is another person showing up here who is this person so this person shows up like connected between the two of you as family um or or um someone that's committed or or in a marriage wow I don't know if I want to do like that might be why the fear like blocking that energy you might want to say something to somebody else about a reunion or about a wedding or uh, a marriage or a family situation um, but you kind of fear like like if you stand your ground uh, maybe that won't go out or go over very well um, this is just hopes and fears and I don't know, it's not, your advice here is to just break everything down and destroy something. Um, what are you destroying? Okay. All right, this is for you. I don't, I don't, it's not to destroy, like if the person you were connecting with has somebody else, 
um, or other options. It, it's not for you to destroy them and their options because that just make you look crazy. This is more like to break down, have your cry release, transform, and get back into your better self, that better position for yourself. Because listen, Pisces, this will go on for years and years if you allow it. Nobody's forcing you. But if you allow somebody to keep coming in and out of your life, this chaser person, that the minute you step away, then they feel you're stepping away and then um, they come back. Then once they come back to you and you feel like, oh, okay, now we're getting somewhere and then they become indifferent again um, and then they make promises and we'll do it later or I got a lot of my play, whatever. It's just a game. It's just a cycle that will just keep playing over and over. Okay. Let's see. It feels like you got to make a decision. All right. The outcome, the devil, and the three is okay. You've got your, so you've got a, a, a group of friends and some people. I feel like either they are already telling you or have been telling you or will be telling you and saying, we knew this was a toxic thing. And there's a lot of like a circle of support. We knew this was an, like the, a, a situation that was very unhealthy for you. Um, and I feel like they're going to support a decision. Yeah, they're, they're going to say that person was just like constantly running away and then coming back or they were being deceptive. And I, Pisces, I feel like you've got people around you. You've got some friends showing up here. Th these people are going to support you and your decision. If you make a decision, you know, to uh, break this whole thing down and get out of this connection that's unhealthy for you. Okay, your best love option coming to you is is these people who are going to lift you up, who celebrate you. Um, and then, boy, they're going to be like, we listen, we've been trying to tell you this person, this is no good. <laughs> and, and I feel like the outcome is for you to d rely and depend on them. Because these are like uh, people f um, who it could be sisters, could be brothers. Family members, friends, work colleagues, whomever. These are like your soul tribe coming in to rescue you, to save you. All right, let me see what your love message is here. Yep, point blank period. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Pisces, that's the answer. Forgive, learn from the past, and move on so you can have more love in your life. Okay? It just doesn't get any stronger than that, Pisces. Okay? And I feel like you might not be... I just feel like maybe you've been in questioning phase. And, and some of you I know, you're like, no, nah, I already know. And I got out of it. Okay, well, this is not for you. This is for somebody here who's like, what the heck is going on? I don't understand. And I'm here, Pisces, to tell you that's what I'm seeing. That somebody here has extreme insecurity all the love in the world isn't going to fix their holes and you have to love yourself okay or you will be depleted and eventually discarded okay you're not doing yourself any favors by staying with someone who's disrespecting your boundaries or coming in and out of your life okay um if it's a friend just a friend um then there's really there's no romantic commitment okay um, but it doesn't seem like it's a friend. This this feels more like a forever potential. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, but it just feels like somebody who just cannot get themselves in a position to make a decision. Okay, so it looks like you have to make it. All right, Pisces, love you. I will see you very shortly. Take care.